Good morning, y'all. Probably look crazy to you. Pretty much just woke up. I am packing right now because I am heading home for the day. Well, for a couple of days because today is my friend's birthday and she's having a party. It's a little formal dinner because it's her big champagne birthday. I want to show you guys kind of what I've been doing to help her out. Okay, so first of all, I got this big bag stuff here so i'm gonna go through what's in the bag so i made this little thing it's like a polaroid board i put some polaroids there just to test it out to see how it would look yep that's it and it goes like that because it's going to be an outside dinner so i feel like it will look nice in the night with like all the polaroids i think i'm gonna change this because i kind of messed it up and i don't like it so i'm gonna just like paste something there but that's that i ended up getting this frame the welcome sign is gonna go in there but my mom has it right now her favorite color is blue so i got these two candles here that i found to go with the blue theme on the table i made these menus got it printed on hard stock so it's very thick but i really like how it came out and i also made these name tags so we can know everyone's name at the table but yeah so i kind of been running out of time so let me just get myself together get my stuff packed and y'all can watch me do that I honestly hate packing makeup because I always feel like I forget something so I kind of organize my makeup here and I go through it kind of how I'm supposed to do the makeup so the brushes are here that's cool. I have this little mirror thing I'm gonna bring that foundation powder I'm almost out of powder some primer brows concealer this is almost done I have this Farsali skin blur thing. I haven't used it in a while, but I'll bring it up for today. Moisturizer. I got mascara, eyeliner, some liquid liners, blush, contour, favorite lashes, eyelash curler, eyelash glue. The Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. It basically helps your face like be mattified. If you guys remember in my collective haul, I talked about getting the gold deposit. This is my favorite highlighter, but honestly, it keeps breaking on me and I feel like it's kind of cursed, so I'm not going to bring it today. I have this one. It's the Global Glow. Um, it actually has a crack in it, but I need a little bit of highlighter, so this is the one I'll go with. I have the Fenty bronzer. I'm going to use it on my eyes because I'm not going to do much um, of an eye look. So I'll just use the bronzer and some highlighter. That's my go-to thing to do. And I also have the MAC. This is the hard to get blush. I'm going to bring this Rare Beauty one. I don't know if I'll use it, but my dress is actually red. So maybe. And I think that's it. I have these press on nails. I'm gonna see if my cousin will put them on for me. I don't know if she will, but I'll bring it just in case. And that's my makeup. The last thing, hopefully the last thing, I hope I didn't forget anything, I need is contacts. Actually, I guess two things, but they're washroom things. Contacts, and I am doing something different. Not different, but doing something to my hair. You guys excited? I actually did try the blue color already. It didn't show up as well as I wanted it to, but I'm gonna get the gold color today. I'm just gonna put it on the ends mostly so it looks like kind of an ombre effect, hopefully. But I'm also doing something different to my hair, which I'll explain a little bit later. Nah. I'm actually just gonna bring these brown bombshell ones. I also mentioned this in my collective haul. I don't actually like them. They hurt my eyes. Contacts hurt your eyes sometimes, especially the ones that are monthly. But these ones hurt extra, like the first day you put them in, which is very unheard of. So I just want to get rid of them now. So I'm just gonna wear them today. And they're monthlies, but I'm not gonna wear them for a whole month. I'm not gonna wear them for a whole month. I'll bring a case just in case, but I most likely will get rid of them within a couple wears. A couple wears. Contact solution, contact case. Ooh. 
Alrighty, I think I'm good to go. So I'll see you guys at my mom's house. Okay guys, I'm officially at my mom's house. Um, I'm gonna do my hair. I actually have a little surprise for what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm acting like it's a big deal and y'all are not gonna see it in 2.2 seconds, but I'm just gonna let you guys figure it out as we go. Why is it dark? Why? Why? I'm just taking down these berets that I put in yesterday. Whew, I am tired, honestly. But hopefully this goes well. I'm just gonna part out the front. I got my mirror here. I actually got a new mirror. I'm pretty excited about it. Anyway, I got the mirror. So let's get this party. Mm -hmm. Big ass. Okay, so it's not gonna be perfect because is anything in life ever perfect? But I think that's good enough. I'm gonna be braiding the whole back down. I don't have much time to really try to do this nicely, so I am going to just braid it down. However, saw but i braided up my hair don't want to do too much moving because for some reason the lighting today is going in and out which is pretty annoying anyway i braided up my hair and i'm ready for the great i am ready for the next part of my little hair transformation thing i wonder if you guys could guess what it is can you do you guys know yet i bet you do i bet i'm doing all this for no reason I don't know about the lighting, but I got some clippings and I'm excited because some length. It actually is really close to my actual hair length. I feel like people didn't notice. I actually wore this on Instagram, so I was really interested to see if anyone would clock me. Clock me if you can. And they really didn't, so this is funny. I have eight pieces here, so I'm just gonna put as many pieces as I need. When I first put these in, it was looking kind of like ramen noodles. I <laughs> wasn't feeling that at all, so I really want it to look a little bit bigger, fluffy. So I'm just gonna comb it out and welcome the frizz. This is what it's looking like so far. I put two threes at the back, now it's so a four kind of in the middle of my head and try not to take out the clips at the same time. I mean the bobby pins so my hair doesn't fall because if my hair falls, it's over for me. I was gonna try to do something interesting like some, what's it called, bantu knots at the front, but I don't think I have all that time today, so I'm going to keep it simple and do my go-to style that I always do because it wouldn't be a go-to style if you <laughs> didn't do it all the time, right? Just going to braid these two. I don't really want to leave a lot out just because the front of my hair, like I mentioned a lot of times, isn't the greatest, so if I leave a lot out, I feel like people will be able to notice more. But if I don't, they might get confused. And we are thriving on the confusion. It's not gonna be perfect, of course, but should I get it as decent as possible? <laughs> Pretty decent so now we fix the back to match so right now it's looking a little bit crazy but don't worry it will come my big head finished off Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 
snot get you guys wet. <laughs> tried and true wet line extreme gel guys honestly it's the best gel ever just clumps your curls so well okay guys i officially arrived did my face my hair looks okay hopefully nobody clocks me they already kind of noticed it they thought it was my hair they're like wow it's so long <laughs> Clippings. Don't mind the pieces that are falling out, okay? Don't mind it. Anyway, as you will show you guys, we're like, over. Oh, really? Anyway, I'll show you guys an overview of how everything looks and maybe some of the people and some of the stuff. But yeah, we're getting ready to get started. This is exciting. And oh, my dress. This is. This is. I don't. I need a mirror. Outfit of the day. Jeez. Anyway, this is this is this is the look, guys. Little red dress that goes all the way down. I got some shoes on, but you'll see. You'll see it. Let's get to the party. Your name, how we met. I, I know. And then the question. Yay, go. Okay. I, I don't know if I have an answer, but I'll try to make it up as I go. Okay, so hi guys, my name is Renee. Um, I met Marcin at school. I moved in grade four. And then I think we were in the same class that year. And then we also took the same bus because I used to live on the other side of the street. My question is, what is your first impression? I don't really remember because it was grade four, like I said, but I just remember Marcin just being loud all the time, especially on the bus. I just like sitting there and you just see this loud girl in the back. I think so. Loud and just like, she's always doing something. Like, just crazy. 